Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to convert a point in the polar coordinate to the rectangular coordinate. And if you haven't seen how to do from rectangular to polar, you can check out that video. I will have the link to that video in the description for you guys. And in fact, when we're going from polar to rectangular, this right here is easier because in the rectangular world, we can only have one answer, okay? So let me show you how to do this. First of all, let me just remind you guys, when we have a polar coordinate points right here, right? This is in the form of r, comma, theta. That means you have to know the angle value and also the r value. So for example, right here, if we have a point right here on the plane, and you have your horizontal and your vertical axis like that, okay? When you have the theta, this means that you know what angle to turn, okay? So I'll just denote this by theta. And when you have parsity angle theta, that means you turn counterclockwise. And if you also have parsity r, that means you can go from the origin r distance so you can get to that point, okay? And this is supposed to be a straight line, of course. So let me draw it better for you guys. Anyway, so it's like this, okay? So theta right here and r right here. Now, here is another way that we can describe where this point is, right? Of course, the traditional x comma y. So to get x, you have to know the horizontal distance, and to get y, you have to know the vertical distance. Here is the deal. To go from polar to rectangular, we are going to come up with a formula for x and y based on r and theta. Let's do x first, okay? So we have an angle, and we have the r, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle, and x is the adjacent side. So adjacent and hypotenuse, what can we use? Cosine, isn't it? So right here, we can write down, okay, if you take cosine of theta like this, this is going to give us x over r, right? And this right here shouldn't be any like strange things to you guys. You guys seen this before in your trick class, right? Because this is how you deal with cosine and sine on the unit circle, that kind of thing. Anyway, secondly, we can also talk about the y. Of course, that's the opposite, and that's the hypotenuse. We can use sine. So in another word, sine of theta, this is equal to y over r, like that. Well, our goal is to get the x and y by themselves. So from here, of course, that's multiply both sides by r. So we get x equals to r times cosine theta like this. And when we have this right here, we can just multiply both sides by r, and we get y that's equal to r times sine theta. And these two right here are the ingredients that we need to change a polar coordinate to the rectangular, polar, uh, rectangular coordinate. And that's pretty much it. And I will show you guys a real quick example right here, okay? So let's convert. I will just put this down for you guys. Let's say I have negative four comma pi over six, for example, like this. And just to emphasize, this right here is the r and this right here is the theta, so that you know this right here is a polar coordinate. I want to convert a polar coordinate to rectangular, so I will just write this down for you guys. Okay? And as always, when you're doing these kind of things, especially for the very first time, it's helpful to just draw a picture first. So I will do that for you guys. So here we go. First of all, pi over 6 is 30 degrees, right? Pi over 6 is 30 degrees, so you can draw like this. And when, our, when the theta is positive, this means you have to turn this way. And we are just turning 30 degrees, namely pi over 6, right? Like that. So the deal is, you turn this much, and you are focusing on this direction, like that. You're looking at this direction. However, though, because the r is negative, that means you actually have to go backwards. So when you go backwards, it's like this. So let's say this is 4 units, okay? And you just go backwards. So this angle and that angles are the same. And this is where the point is. This point right here is equal to that, negative 4 comma pi over 6 in the polar world, okay? So once again, you turn, because this is positive, you look this direction, but because r is negative, you go backwards, 4 units, 
and the idea is like this is a one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, but I know my picture is not perfect, so I just excuse my picture. So that's the idea. Anyway, now let's get the x comma y. This is actually really, really easy because we don't have one answer. So let's get x first. x is equal to r is negative 4 times cosine of theta, so cosine of pi over 6. And we can just work this out real quick, right? Because x is equal to negative 4, and what's cosine of 30 degrees? Do, do whichever way that you would like, right? If you would like, you can draw the special red triangle. Pi over 6 is 30 degrees, so you can draw a triangle like this right here. And I know it's out of... Sp but anyway, let me just put it down right here real quick, like this. And 30 degrees right here, and then you know this is going to be square root of 3. This is 1, this is 2. So for cosine of pi over 6, which is this angle, it's square root of 3 over 2, like this. And then you can reduce the fraction, and you get x is equal to negative 2, right, because this and that cancel, and then multiply by square root of 3, like that. That's the x value. Secondly, you get the y value. This is equal to, it's the same thing, r, which is negative 4, but this time you multiply by sine, sine of the angle, which is pi over 6 right here. I can look at this picture again. Sine of pi over 2, which is, sorry, sine of pi over 6 is this angle, is 1 over 2, right? So y is equal to negative 4 times 1 over 2. Of course, y is equal to negative 2, right? So the deal is, we have this point in the rectangular form. It's equal to that negative 2 square root of 3, comma, negative 2, x, comma, y. And this is the only answer. And the idea is that this means we have to go to the left, 2 square root of 3 units, like this. This is negative 2 square root of 3. And then we have to go down 2 units, and we can get to the same point. So this is how you tell a point uh, in the rectangular, and this is how you change from a polar coordinate to rectangular. And uh, maybe you guys can com comment down below and let me know which coordinate do you guys like better, the polar or the rectangular version. And hopefully you guys like this video helpful, and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I make math lessons videos for you guys. And as always, that's it.